Hi, everyone. Sorry, it's uh, been crazy. I've been so busy. Um, happy Easter to all of you. And uh, I wish you love and peace and health. Um, I wanted to show you this Easter egg thing that I had got at Michael's Craft Store. And I absolutely love it. Um, so it's, it's like a pinata, but it's made out of chocolate. It's an egg. And you could do three different ways. It's really, really neat. The directions are on the back. I fell in love with it. I saw, thought how cute to fill it up with all kinds of candy. And then they have a smaller one. Hi, sweetheart. Then they have a smaller one, which I really like. It's kind of like a cupcake. And a nice little birthday treat, even to put on top of a birthday cake or something like that. You know, for your kids or your husband or my husband's a chocolate maniac. Hi from New Jersey. So I had already melted it, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. On the back of your meltables. Hi, everyone. Happy Easter to you. And I bought this cho uh, chocolate at Michael's Craft Store, and I always try to get it when they got a sale or whatever have you. So this egg that you're going to make, you get it, like, if you go tomorrow, honestly, you probably get, like, half off of the uh, mold. It was only $5, so I couldn't beat it. Um, but the little teeny one was $5 too, which was crazy. But anyway, so these chocolates here. Hi, everyone. Happy Easter to you. So what you do with this one is you put it in the defrost in the microwave really super easy and hit 50 and take it out every minute and mix it until it's melted. You can't have any lumps in it at all. And, uh, so make sure it's real smooth. So what I did is I used one and a half bags. So this is anywhere from 12 to 24 ounces. So I compromised. And then I put it right in here to hold it and support it up. And I'll show you. So again, I've been really super busy. So this is the egg. It comes in two pieces. Wash it and dry it. Make sure you dry it really good. So, um, I think it's really cool. So, it's been in the fridge for a little bit, but I'm afraid to take it off yet. And it comes with an end piece. So, um, you, after you clean it and dry it really good, you close it together, and then you pop the end on it. And then you just keep rotating your chocolate around. And you keep putting it in the refrigerator. Um, every two minutes, you check, take it out, and you just keep rotating it. Until you feel like it's super solid. You know, so my plan was is to fill it up with a bunch of candy for my boys and myself. And um, hi, everyone. Happy Easter. Anyway, I thought it was really cool. And you could have it for each each year and you can make it individually so easy to do and um, give your grandchildren their own chocolate egg with any surprise you want to put in it. And I'll show you what I'm going to put in it. I'm gonna stick it back in the fridge. <clears throat> stick it back in the fridge. And um, I bought a bunch of candy. Uh, Happy Easter. I bought a bunch of candy and my, my uh, guys have been destroying it. So you could put anything in your egg. You could put a little fake grass in there if you like. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you too, honey. Uh, Happy Easter. Good evening. So anyway, I'm going to put a mixture of all this inside of it. And again, you could put a little grass in there and in the very bottom. So where the end would be of the egg, where you fill it on the bottom, that's where you're going to fill it. So when you lay the egg inside your little nest or whatever, um, and they could pop it open, they crack it open like they did on the top. And it's just all a bunch of candy inside. It's so cool. I thought it was really nice. Happy Easter, everyone. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my little candies in there. doesn't matter if they're individually wrapped and stuff like that because you're, you know, they're going to open it anyway, you know. No, no black jelly beans. And um, I really like this one, too, because you could make that and put it on top of a cake. I just think it's a really nice surprise, even like um, somebody at work, if it's their birthday. Again, you get it at Michael's Craft Store. Okay? And you can use any chocolate you want, but I chose this because it melts really smooth. 
and uh, they really are good. But when you buy them, make sure there's no white on the chocolate. It means it's too old, okay? So make sure it's real dark, all right? And just keep that at room temperature. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you could lick the bowl. <laughs> you could. Um, so I made some Easter bread yesterday, and I made more today. And um, I just put a paper towel underneath to stop condensation and sweating. And and uh, it's so good. So, so good. You guys have that recipe. So I put the towel in here to help me support that egg. So I could pour it into the hole and then put the hole on top. Make sure it's all sealed. And then keep rotating it. Uh, yeah, my kitchen always usually does smell good. I made, um, let's see, uh, we couldn't eat any meat on Friday because it's Good Friday. So I made homemade pizza. And um, my husband was upset because he couldn't have pepperoni, but that's too bad. So we just had cheese pizzas, which was really, really good. And um, then we had, uh, tomorrow I'm getting ready to make the Easter quiche, and I was going to do the um, pizza game this year, but I honest to God haven't had time, so put Drake in here. When the lid goes on, you, um, without the lid, rather, you just keep filling it with chocolate, but it's kind of heavy, so I could feel it, and I know it's getting a little hard, because I could feel that, too, but you don't want to rush it, you know, you don't want to rush it. I mean, for five dollars, you could buy two of them and do two at the same time. If you have two grandchildren or something. But really need to have. And you can decorate it any way you want. They show you some designs on the bottom. But I was thinking like melting like a red chocolate or a pink chocolate. Or even a white chocolate and drizzle on top. If you wanted to, you know. So. Yeah, I do make meat pies. But I didn't do it this year, Lori. Um. It's just me, Frank, and Frankie, so um, I'm making a really beautiful ham tomorrow. You guys know me with my ham. And I'm making homemade mac and cheese. I'm making green beans, a garden salad, biscuits, uh, what else? Corn. Um, I think that's it, really. It's just us, you know? Um... I'll probably bring some to my neighbor. One of my neighbors was diagnosed with cancer, so I'm going to make sure his family has some uh, bread and, and stuff that I had made. Dieter's doing really good. Frankie's going to post a video of Dieter. Of course he's doing good. He's in my house. Eating well. So the reason I haven't really done a lot of videos, we had a storm uh, about maybe a month and a half ago, maybe eight weeks ago, something like that, and and... The storm had hit so bad, it had um, knocked my neighbor's tree into my yard. And we had to, um, that's Dieter now talking. Um, so we had a lot of damage and uh, we've been repairing everything. It, it's just unbelievable, the damage that that tree caused. Um, it was a, like a 60 foot pine tree and uh, it really did a lot of damage. But anyway, um, Yeah, did it go, your power went out for about eight hours? Yeah, it was really crazy. Do I make craft macaroni and cheese? Sure I do. If I'm lazy and don't want to make my regular macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I use fresh green beans and I'll steam them. So Dieter's talking, can you hear him? I hear you, Deeds. You can't have anything. No, you already had a treat. <laughs> no, you already had a biscuit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hang on, I gotta get him another biscuit. <laughs> all right, come on. Come on. Love this bit. That's our deeds. <laughs> so, um, he's coming back. I know he is. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, anyway, Frank and I decided to 
um, get chickens. So we have baby chickens, and they're so adorable. Um, I'll see if I can show it to you, you know. Uh, I'm glad I taught you how to cook. That's great. My carbonara is already on um, my video, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, Dieter, he's funny. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to wait. I'm not going to pull that um, plastic off too soon. And, uh, yeah, the chickens are cute. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate that, B. But anyway, um, so I'm going to make my Easter quiche in the morning. I was going to make the um, pizza game, but I didn't do that because... Uh, um, I love my tradition of, of my grandmother. She, um, she made everything I always made, you know. But um, anyway, um, so I've got the Italian sausage, you know, the Easter quiche. That's on my recipe. And then the Easter bread. And then the ham, which I love. It's like my favorite part. Um, and then I'll make my macaroni cheese and green beans, stuff like that. Um, I have a really good fenced in yard, so Dieter can't get out to see other dogs, but he he lives with six dogs, so he's very, very busy. So someone said about an Italian make an Italian dish. I pretty much have been. Um, I didn't even get to Polish or German pretty much, so um, I've just been really busy. Thank you, Jack Slax. Appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm just a busy girl. If I'm not doing hair, cleaning, sewing, cooking, or something, um, I just keep myself really, really busy. No, dear. No more from Grandma. No more. Go to your pop-up. Go to pop-up. I'm setting them to pop-up. So, I can risk to see if this is done. So, we'll take a look. This is supposed to pop off. So there's a lot of crazy people out there talking um, craziness. So just ignore them. They can't help but lie. A lot of people go through a whole life lying. I don't want to pull it off too fast. Those Italian sausage fingers, right? It's a little difficult. <laughs> oh, I cracked it. Son of a gun. Well, live and learn, right? It's okay. We'll eat it. I don't think it's all the way cold enough, but you see it cracked. It's still cool, though. Yeah, it is neat. What'd you put in mine? I don't know. <laughs> Dieter turds? <laughs> Careful, it's, you gotta take the cap off. I know, first. I'm trying. All the cap is off in there. Your hand? Yeah, I got it. Thanks. You sure? Yeah. I'm trying to pull it gently out. See, it's still right there. They're saying hi to you, Frankie. Hi, everyone. Let me see. How's it? How's it go? I like the cracking. I think that looks. It's right cool. there. Where here? There it is. There it is. Got it. Oh, that's huge. <gasps> I cracked. And you can actually um, put some fake stitching over yeah, it. Yeah, mold, mold that back together. But that is really cool. That is, is super it pretty cool. pretty thick? Oh, don't break it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> don't break it. Maybe so I'm going to stick it in the fridge again. Oh, yeah, be careful because the seam is wanting to. Yeah, I'm, let it, I'm going to let it get hard again. Yeah, I guess the more chocolate you put in the. Less... And then I'll carve that um, <laughs> the little cap out on the, on the bottom, and then I'll fill it. Let me stick that in the fridge. 
Did you do the cupcake one yet? No. I got chocolate everywhere. What, Dieter? So just be patient. And, you know, honestly, I don't take anything serious. Um, if you have a crack in it, get some colored chocolate. Make some more colored chocolate like red or pink. Or you can put writing over it, too. You know, do whatever you want to do. But don't, like, freak out and cry and stuff like that. Your family loves you and appreciates you. Um, anything that you do for cooking. Hi from the Philippines. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, yeah, you, you have to be patient in the uh, kitchen. You do. Um, but I wouldn't run this underwater. You don't want any water in there at all. But, so what I, as I was doing, if you watch me, I was going like that to try to release it. Frank, can you stop them? Anyway, um, just so you just soak this with warm water and soap, and just let it air dry, and that's it. So again, guys, you could fill it up. You could fill it up with um, anything you want on the inside. I just think it's really cool because nobody knows what's inside but you. And what a great little treat for your family, you know? And um, I like this one a lot too because it's a little cupcake. What a cute little treat. Okay, guys, so you can get this at Michael's Craft Store. So, what am I making for dinner? Uh, the usual, my usual, my Easter bread, my Easter quiche. Um, gosh, salad, green beans, fresh green beans steamed um, with a little bit of butter. That's how my guys like it, a little salt and pepper. And um, no, I got these from um, Michael's Craft Store, $5. So, believe me when I tell you, yes, Nancy, it's going to be ham. Yes, ma'am. And, um, anyway, $5, and tomorrow, um, or even after tomorrow, you can make these any time, really. And, um, sorry for being so late today. I've been so, so busy. My Easter bread is really good. You can use it with vanilla. You can use a little lemon rind in it if you want. Um, but I use aniseed um, extract, and I use aniseed seed. Um, very hard to get sometimes. It's very hard to get, but that's what my grandmother always did with the aniseed, so, um, I love it. I absolutely love it. To us, to us, in our tradition, it wouldn't be Easter without it. And some Italians, you, you could put a, like, a little bit of water and make a glaze over the top. And, um, you could use, uh, powdered sugar. And a couple drops of water until you get a nice cream. Whisk it really good. And then you could pour it on top and then your sprinkles on top. But I don't like that. I don't like it, you know, sweet and sugary. I just like it just the way it is. You know? But very, very good. It goes really good with your ham, you know? Where did I learn how to cook? Oh, my gosh. School of Hard Knocks. Um, when I was 13, my father had a stroke. And he's 100% Italian. And um, my mom and him had gotten divorced. And um, I stayed to take care of him. And uh, he was paralyzed on his whole left side. And uh, I took care of my dad for 19 years. And being with him on a daily basis um, for all those years and taking care of him, um, learning how to cook, you know, his mother's way and my mother's way and my mother's mother's way and my husband's grandmother taught me how to cook Polish. So, you know, really, um, you know, you just got to get in the kitchen. You can't be afraid. You know, you learn from experience and, and you just keep going. You know, you got to feed your family and, you know, you can tell the difference between um, a fast meal, which is could be just as great, or if you're just too tired and you don't want to cook, but you have to because you feel like you... It's a, it's a holiday and blah, blah, blah. And, and uh, turn on the music, you know, turn on your music. Get yourself a cup of coffee, get your groove on in the kitchen and, you know, start rocking and rolling. You'd be so, so proud um, how energetic you get from that. Amethyst, God bless you too. In Jesus' name, God bless you too, sweetie. 
and God bless all of you, and happy Easter. I hope it's a great day for you. It's going to be sad as usual for us, but um, I think the baby chicks that we have are so cute. Uh, I'll post a picture of them or maybe do a video. And um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So anyway, again, you get these at Michael's Craft Store. Um, sometimes they're like $5. Sometimes you can get them on sale. And um, you do like a 12 to 24 ounces. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a cookbook. I started one like eight or nine years ago. And I just, my life is so busy. People just don't even understand. Um, I'm a go-getter. Um, I take care of people. I look after people. Um, that's that's who I am. Always um, doing something. But um, anyway, everyone, happy Easter and God bless you all. And um, maybe I'll take in and see my baby chicks. Hang on, let me take my phone off of here. Okay, hang on. Oops. Hold on. I'm going. So I have them in my garage right now to keep them safe because they're still babies. They're sleeping. Aren't they adorable? Hi, sweetheart. I see you. I have 14 of them. Yeah, they're sleeping. So when they get um, all their little feathers, then we can um, uh, put them outside. Frank and I have been working on a, a house for them. And Frankie, we've all been kicking some butts and doing so much work. You have no idea. A lot of labor intensive. You know, you got a big responsibility taking care of all these little babies. But they're so beautiful. And um, they're learning to know us, which is great. We got a little heat lamp for them. I've got them in a, a baby playpen because they're getting bigger and I want them to have uh, space. And um, they're really cute. This little black one right here. Where is it? Right there. The big one. Um, she's, she's, they're all females. She's trying real hard to get out. And you could tell by the size of her that she's ready to roll. She's ready to fly and have fun. But we have to keep them in here, again, to keep them safe until they're, till they're ready. Aren't they adorable? Yeah, they're precious. Good night, babies. Good night. Good night. Yeah, we love them. We love them. So we got a nice big <clears throat> uh, pen for them that we're working on, so. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, I wish you all a beautiful Easter, and God bless you all, and uh, enjoy your family. Say grace, laugh, make memories, and take lots of photos. All right, everyone? God bless you too, sweetie. Thank you, everyone. God bless you, and happy Easter. Enjoy your day. All right. Good night.